My name is Denise Johnson, D-E-N-I-S-E-J-O-H-N-S-O-N. -E -N -N. Um, and you are? I am John Holman's mother. It's been horrible. You see, it's raining out. Um, God is crying out. Um, they have let a murderer back on the street. Victim's assistants called me this morning, told me that she regretted to inform me that they were going to have to release this young man um, for a uh, lack of evidence, and they were going to let him go. What did you do? I, I, I collapsed. I mean, this is what's been keeping me afloat all this time, just believing that justice will be, will, will serve, you know, that um, there was no way they could botch this up. God had given them a whole, everything they needed to be successful. I want to know what the Fort Wayne Police Department is doing in their office. This guy is laughing at us. It didn't work. So um, you get that call. What was your emotional reaction when you hear that there's a possibility that Charles Benson could be released? It's unbelievable. It, I, I, um, I just know that I serve a good God. I know that in the end, justice will be uh, will prevail. Rather it be here on earth, I may not ever see it. But I know that God is in charge. That's what I thought this morning when she told me that, that God has another plan for this young man, that maybe jail wasn't for him, you know, maybe uh, jail was too good for him, you know, and God has something else in store because he said vengeance is his. The fact that they had no problem putting that video up but to get a man convicted is a total different thing. How did that happen when we are dealing with such a high profile case? The, the police system, uh, Karen Richardson says that they don't have a witness protection program. But when is enough enough? When do you be, but you cry out for help from the community. Who's gonna help with their whole family and their whole, everybody's life is at stake to help another. I mean, it's self-preservation, it's, it's the laws of civics. I'm not gonna put my neck out to help someone and put my whole family at stake. There's no one here to protect us. We're out here on our own. We have to protect ourselves against the bad man because the police, the, uh, Karen Richards and her statement is the community needs to get together. And we together will fight this crime and we will make our community safe. Yeah. It's, it's all, a, they're, they're blowing smoke up our butts. No. Charles Benson's family posted these flyers all over every gas station in Fort Wayne stating that this guy had something to do with the murder. And I first of all want to apologize to this man's parents, his family, for every Thing that has happened up until this point. Whatever this kid situation, I'm sorry. I apologize from the bottom of my heart because I hate that this man had to die trying to help someone else. It's, it's not fair, it's not fair. But this was the man that the police based this whole case on. And this is why the young man was released today because they had no other information. This gentleman had all this information. He was the key witness to a high profile murder, was not protected. He was left out here to fend for himself until court. He's not here. Um, and so they had to dismiss the case because the key witness um, was uh, taken out. It's a, it's a case gone bad. Um, there's a murderer on the street. Y'all watch our babies, watch your kids, watch, your, watch everybody, because he's out. And it's live and in color. This man is out. In the same way it happened to me, it could be your child. It could be he's out and he has no regards. Everybody saw the video. It ain't even about it being my son. This could have been anybody's child out here. This, this Fort Wayne is not safe with all these criminals that they're opening the gates up for. But now, don't have your insurance. Don't have your seatbelt on. They're gonna, they're gonna prosecute you to the full extent of the law. But when you can go and kill a man, 
and and walk free. When you watch that video, is that Charles Benson running up to the car? That is Charles Benson. That is him. I look at his Facebook page every day. I see this man every day. That is him. That is not a little girl that did that. They tried to put that on. They created a, what you would call a reasonable doubt. That's Charles Benson on that video. And the world knows it. Everybody that sees it knows who it is. Are you afraid at all? We are. T I am afraid for my family. My grandbabies walk these streets, go to school here. I got a son, I have a daughter, I have a mother, I have a father. I have a host of nephews, nieces, grandkids in this town that have to deal every day, don't know when this man is gonna strike again. We don't know what his intentions are. As a mother, when, when you hear this, when you see this, you've gone through since September, <coughs> seeing this video, oh, having to relive it, having Lord, to go through this with Charles Benson. Now, as a mother, I guess, how do you react as a mother emotionally? What do you do? I, I am, I am, I have never felt heartbreak like this before. I have never in my life uh, experienced anything. It's, un, it's unheard of. There's not even a word for a parent that loses a child. I ask all the mothers in the community that's, that has lost a child, that has children, especially sons, I first of all need to let you know that your children are endangered species, especially if it's a boy. He's especially in the state of Indiana. Um, Keep, keep hold of your sons. Teach them everything that you need to teach them. Show them the way to go. And even when you do that, pray a little more because um, this, is, this is a war zone. This is a war zone. My son had a better chance in Vietnam. He had a better chance in the war coming out of what he went through um, in that van that night. You all saw it. I don't live here. Yeah, my family's leaving. Yes, we have to move. What? What? They left us no choice. My mother has been a native. My mother has been in her home for 45, six years, and she has to move because we can't stay here. He laugh. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy that, because my son will never get to do that again. My grandkids are still waiting on their father to come from work. He'll never ever get to walk these walk this land again. He's never coming back. So enjoy. Enjoy, Charles. Enjoy your life. Because I know he believes that he was one, baby, but it ain't over yet. The, jam the dance just started. It just started. And, we're, and, I, and me as a mother, I will not stop until justice is served. This is my life's mission. Don't think for a second that it's over because it's not. It's only just begun.